we will see some heater design that use both conduction, convection, and radiation. So the solar heater is designed to absorb the infrared radiation from the sun. So it, you can see that it's a simple design with the water pipe inside covered in the box with the glass. So that it can absorb the radiation effectively by using the dark color to design it. And we will use the cover glass and the legging so that it can absorb heat more effectively and trap the heat inside. And the coil shape of the coil will also able to increase the surface area in order to enhance the heat absorption. Using the cover glass can prevent the heat transfer through conduction and also trap the heat in the box light greenhouse effect. And the box legging will use the polystyrene and formed rubber which trap the lots of air inside so that they are good insulator also. So these are the designs that use all three heat transfer methods to enhance the effectiveness for the solar heater. And you should aware this kind of heater, we do not need to provide extra energy for it. Let's see a calculation related to the solar heater. When we consider the solar heater, usually we will have a flow rate of the water. So what is the flow rate? It's the kg per minute. Usually we will change it to kg per second first by dividing it into 60. But actually what is the flow rate? Actually it's the mass over time because you can see it's a kg per second. Power is provided about the sun and also the temperature of the water entering the heater. How to calculate the temperature leaving the heater? We can use the PT equals to MC delta T and by rearranging the subject so that we can form the M over T then we can substitute the flow rate into it then we are able to calculate the temperature and the flow rate increase what will happen it is not surprising the temperature of the water would decrease in that way let's see another example which is another design of the solar heater so this solar heater you can see that there is a box and there is a water put inside the port with the cover okay so let's see what is the mode of energy transfer from the sun to the solar cooker? Surely, is radiation, because the sun can only use radiation to reach the heater. And why we place the transparent gas plate? State one function about it. Surely, it's related to the heat loss. It can reduce the heat loss by convection of the air because the air will trap it inside. And why the plate should be transparent? So that it can allow the sunlight to pass through it. It is the only way for the heat from the sun transfer inside. And then, what is the advantages of using glass as the covering plate? It can trap the heat inside the box by the greenhouse effect so that the inside of the box can be heated up even more effectively in that case. So let's consider some calculation. With the mass of the water, initial temperature, final temperature, and the time, we can able to find the power by using our very typical equation, PT equals to MC delta T. But just make sure the 35 minutes should change into second when we do the calculation. So can the power be increased by replacing the cardboard box with a metal box? The answer is no, because the metal is a good conductor of heat. If we use it, the heat will be lost easily to the surrounding air, so that it is better to use a good heat insulator to make the box for putting the port inside. Finally, can you suggest an improvement for the design? When we talk about improvement, we won't have a big change in the design, but we will try to mention something that the question doesn't mention. For example, here one improvement is the outside surface of the port can be printed 
with the black color, so that it can absorb the radiation more effectively. In that case, so this is a typical question related to the solar cooker. Different design, more or less, is related to the conduction, convection, and radiation. And our focus is to see how the design can able to help the item in the middle of the heater can absorb the heat most effective.